As an actor, Shakespeare has had a great effect on my life. The power in his words flooding with beauty and emotion. The way each character is like an ocean and I can dive in anywhere and go as deep as I want to with them. Having that kind of freedom is a privilege as an actor. I always assumed that Shakespeare had a big effect on everybody else's life as he did with mine. Apparently not. So this idea of a Shakespeare experiment just seemed like it would disappear. But we still got on Reddit anyway. Do you understand me? Round about the cauldron go, in the poison and trails throw. Toad the under cold stone, days and nights has thirty-one. And we were right. Hardly anybody took part. Thousands of people saw the advertisements, but hardly anybody took part. So that raised the question. Why? Why does this society have a sudden hatred towards Shakespeare? Now that's a question I'd like to know the answer to. There are so many books and films and websites dedicated to telling you how to speak the words of William Shakespeare. You've got to use iambic pentameter, you've got to use this and you've got to use that. But one thing I think we can all agree on is the greatest Shakespearean actor of the past 100 years has to be Sir Lawrence Olivier. A horse! My kingdom for a horse! And all he does is speak the words as if he were thinking them. Simple enough. Apparently not, as the words are the number one reason people are put off from Shakespeare. Such famous, meaningful words now cast aside by a generation because they can't read them on paper. This may have seemed like a failed experiment, and maybe it is, but now it's a challenge. I challenge you not only to go out there and read Henry V, Timon of Athens, Hamlet, King Lear, but to perform them. You can make this world see the beauty of Shakespeare again by showing your